We'll guide you through how to get and install Java on Windows for Minecraft. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So perhaps you're trying to go and run a Minecraft server or go and install something like Forge or Iris Shaders or something like that and you're struggling to. This is because you probably need to get Java. For example, here I've got the Iris installer, but it could be Forge or Optifine, or you're maybe trying to run a server. And there are different versions of Java we can go and get, which I'll be covering in this video. So to go and get started, go and open up a web browser of your choice. In this case, I'm using Google Chrome, but it doesn't matter. And then what you can do is go and search for Java like so, or go straight to java.com. Here we are. Now, what you can do is for the first version of Java we're gonna get is Java for desktops. So you can go and click download Java for desktops like so, and you can then press download Java for desktops. Go and wait for it to go and download. We can go and find it in our downloads folder. As you can see, here we have it. And what you can do is go and double click on it like so, and we can start the install process. You're going to go and get a Windows security pop-up. Make sure you read this through. And if you're sure, you can go and press install. The process will now go and run through. It shouldn't go and take too long at all. When it's finished, it'll go and say you successfully installed Java. You can then go and press close. Before we get any further, a big thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, make sure you go and check out the link in the pinned comment and the description. They've got some great features. If we scroll down, we can see one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support, meaning if you have any problem with your server, you can go and get help in the live chat. Ultra latency, instant setup and so much more. And at the moment you can go and get a discount as well. So if you're interested, go and check them out down below. A big thanks to them for supporting the channel. Let's continue with the guide. Now, while we're here, we can also go and get developer downloads. I found this is needed for running Minecraft servers. So what you can do is press developer downloads here. Then the, the different versions, I'll go and get JDK 24. We can select that and then select Windows. And we can go and get the X64 installer. You can press the download link to the right here. Wait for it to download, which it now has. And then what we can do is come to our downloads and go and find JDK. That stands for Java Development Kit. You'll get a security pop-up and then the setup. And then what we can do is go through the wizard, choose where it's installed, and we can press next. And now it's going to go and install. So all you need to do is be patient. When it's finished, it'll go and say it was successfully installed. So there we have it. Now, what you can try doing is using it. So if you've got, say, an installer here, you want to select it and you can right click on it. Hover over open with and press choose another app. You can then go and select Java TM platform SE binary and select always. It should then go and run as you can see. If you're using a server, you can try doing that there as well. Try running it. If you're finding it still doesn't work, then what you may need to do is something called a jar fix. So come back to your web browser and what you need to do is type in jar fix like so. And then what you can do is come to this site here by this guy called Johan L. Loffelman, maybe pronouncing that wrong. So what this is, it will go and relink jar and Java files. Go and click on it like so, and it will go and download. Come to our downloads again, and you want to go and double click jarfix.exe, you'll get a security pop-up and it's now been registered successfully. Press OK. And then what you can try doing is what we already did. You go and right click on it, hover over open with and press choose another app. Select Java and press always and it will go and run and hopefully it will now go and work and you successfully installed Java and you've got it working.